The soul always knows what to do to heal itself. The challenge is to silence the mind. Always go with the choice that scares you the most, because that's the one that is going to require the most from you. Do you really want to look back on your life and see how wonderful it could have been had you not been afraid to live it? Every single choice we make is either going to enhance the spirit or drain it. Every day, we're either giving ourselves power or taking it away. Let me give up the need to know why things happen as they do. I will never know and constant wondering is constant suffering. When we harbor negative emotions toward others or toward ourselves, or when we intentionally create pain for others, we poison our own physical and spiritual systems. By far the strongest poison to the human spirit is the inability to forgive oneself or another person. It disables a person's emotional resources. The challenge is to refine our capacity to love others as well as ourselves and to develop the power of forgiveness. Facing personal truths and purging yourself of addictions or manipulative habits require strength, courage, humility, faith, and other qualities of a soul with stamina because you are not just changing yourself, you are changing your universe. Your soul is a compass. Change one coordinate in your spiritual compass and you change your entire life's direction. Never, ever mistreat someone who loves you. Because you're not entitled to that love. The empowerment journey that is critical to your healing and to your life comes from progressing through the deep waters of your dark passions and continuing onward to discover not what has been taken from you, but what you have yet to give and who you have yet to become. If you want to know for sure that you are on the right path, here's your clue. You're not put in a position where you feel like you have to negotiate your sense of integrity, which is an act of betrayal. You don't feel like you have to compromise who you are. The dark night of the soul is a journey into light, a journey from your darkness into the strength and hidden resources of your soul. People suffer when they pursue a life or chase a dream that doesn't belong to them. Choice is your greatest power. It is an even greater power than love, because you must first choose to be a loving person. Self-examination is the process of accountability to your soul. It is far better to become your truth than to speak your truth. Self-examination is the practice of becoming your truth. When your life begins to harm you, know that you have taken a detour from your true path. Never blame another person for your personal choices you are still the one who must live out the consequences of your choices. You cannot change anything in your life with intention alone which can become a watered-down, occasional hope that you'll get to tomorrow. Intention without action is useless. By far the strong follow your pain as if it were a candle in the night, leading you to a place of decision. Just poison to the human spirit is the inability to forgive oneself or another person. Forgiveness is no longer an option but a necessity for healing. I don't think most people know how to meditate they fall asleep and they call it meditation. I prefer a kind of sweet, deep, rich prayer in which a person goes in and says, take me down deep into the reason you gave me life. Take me down deep. It silences the chaos in me. 
take me away from my sense. I need to go away now, because I'm in chaos take me down deep. Hover over me, because I need grace. I say that a lot, many times a day. So that's my practice. Every choice we make contains the energy of either faith or fear, and the outcome of every decision reflects to some extent that faith or fear. This dynamic of choice guarantees that we cannot run away from ourselves or our decisions. This day of your life will never come again. Whenever you become empowered, you will be tested. The act of forgiveness is the act of returning to the present time. And that's why when one has become a forgiving person and has managed to let go of the past, what they've really done is they've shifted their relationship with time. Belief in oneself is required for healing. Life was never meant to be safe. It was meant to be lived right to the end. Caroline Miss was born on December 2, 1952, in Chicago and grew up with her parents and two brothers, one elder and one younger, in the Melrose Park, Illinois neighborhood near Chicago. Is an American author of 10 books and many audio recordings about mysticism and wellness. She is most well known for publishing Anatomy of the Spirit 1996. She also co-published The Creation of Health with Dr. C. Norman Sheely, M.D., ex-Harvard professor of neurology. Her most recent book, Archetypes, Who Are You?, was published in 2013. Miss describes herself as a medical intuitive and a mystic. She was on The Oprah Winfrey Show several times including her 2002 appearance. In 2001 she hosted a TV series titled The Journey with Caroline Miss on the Oxygen TV network co-owned by Oprah Winfrey. Exploring the spiritual and psychological roadblocks of life in an intimate workshop setting. The TV specials, Three Levels of Power and How to Use Them, and Why People Don't Heal and How They Can, based on her work. Miss started hosting a weekly call in talk radio show, Sacred Contracts, around 2005, at Hay House Radio, an internet radio site, run by Hay House Publishing, where she gave online intuitive readings to callers. Then in 2009, the show was renamed, Defy Gravity, after her book by the same name was released in October 2009. In June 2012, Miss appeared on a Super Soul Sunday episode with Oprah Winfrey, on OWN Network. <laughs>